Another sensory issue you can get, and you can get this with dyslexia sometimes, autism, all kinds of things, also head injuries can also cause some of these same sensory problems, is image breakup, pixelation of the image. Similar to when people get migraines and have all this weird stuff happen in the visual field. Well, if you have a developmental problem, the circuits in the back of the head here don't assemble the graphics file. See, back here, you got circuits for shape, color, motion, and texture. There's only one problem. Scientists don't know how they work. They know they're there. They know where they're located because strokes break them in really, really weird ways. But when your visual system starts to mess up, you can get image breakup. You've all seen a satellite dish shaking in a storm, and you know what that does to your TV. Okay, just imagine if your visual system started pixelating. Be a real mess. You know, that would be an extremely severe case. Um, you know, Donna Williams has described this. Uh, Tito has described it in his book, How Can I Talk If My Lips Don't Move? Okay, what's a sign that there's something wrong back here? Well, eye exam may be normal. Kids that do a lot of this, kids that tilt their head, look out the corner of their eye. Often they're terrified of escalators, they can't tell how to get on and off the escalator. But the big one is fluorescent lights. Boy, I'd like to get rid of fluorescent lights. This room has fluorescent lights. If you have 60 cycle fluorescent lights, some of these kids can see it flicker. But the thing is, not every kid with autism has all the same sensory problems. So one of the things that's made it difficult to study is if I just use autism as a way to assign people to, to like an experimental and a control group, in that autism group, from a sensory standpoint, I got apples, oranges, and pears all mixed together. Not every autistic kid has a problem with fluorescent lights. And uh, you know, we can replace them with incandescent lights or maybe LED lights. I'm getting some good feedback on LED lights. But these are really, really these are serious problems. And the thing that blows my mind is I've been talking about sensory issues for like 30 years, almost 30 years now. Why are people not studying this? We got 10,000 million studies on face recognition but we don't have enough studies on how to deal with the sensory issues that can make being social just impossible.